CBSE Class 12 Practical Skills in Chemistry Experiment No. 11 Qualitative Analysis Determination of one cation and one anion in a given salt Materials required Boiling tubes Test tubes Measuring cylinders Test tube stand Test tube holder Delivery tube corks filter paper reagents funnel and spatula preliminary physical examination physical examination of a given salt involves observing the color smell and density physical test is not much reliable but can be helpful in identifying some colored cations some anions like ammonium acetate and sulfide can be identified by their typical smell color following table gives clues about colors of salt blue or bluish green which is cu2 plus light pink which is mn2 plus violet or reddish pink which is co2 plus green which is fe3 plus or na2 plus order for this rub a pinch of salt with a drop of water between your fingers and smell it vinegar like smell which is ch3 coo minus smell of rotten egg which is s2 minus suffocating smell which is so32 minus dry heating test a small amount of salt is taken in a dry test tube The test tube is heated gently and then strongly. Some important information can be obtained by conducting the dry heating test. Colorless or odorless gas which is CO3 2 minus. Colorless gas with smell of rotten eggs which is S2 minus. Brown gas which is NO2 minus. NO3 minus Br minus yellowish green with pungent smell which is Cl2 borax bead test procedure for this a loop is made with platinum wire the loop is heated till red hot and dipped in powder borax and heated again the borax swells up and gives a transparent bead repeat the process till you get a perfectly colorless bead now touch the bead in a pinch of given salt and heat it again observe the color of the bead Heat the bead in oxidizing flame and reducing flame in turn. Observe the colors in oxidizing flame and in reducing flame. Here we observe that charcoal cavity test. This test is divided into two parts which are reduction test and cobalt nitrate test. This test is best on the premise when metallic carbonates are heated in a charcoal cavity. the decompose to give corresponding oxides the oxide is obtained as colored incrustation or residue in the charcoal cavity on heating zinc carbonate decomposes into zinc oxide and carbon dioxide zinc oxide appears as yellow incrustation when hot and appears as white when cold analysis of anions The analysis for anions can be divided into two parts. Identification by olatile products obtaining on reaction of salt with acid. Identification by reactions in solution which are confirmatory test. Anions can be divided into three groups based on their reactions with sulfuric acid. Dilute sulfuric acid test. A pinch of salt is taken in a test tube a diluted sulfuric acid is added 
so that the salt gets submerged. If no reaction is observed at room temperature, then the solution is heated. If we observe effervescence with evolution of colorless gas which turns lime water milky, then it's a carbonate. If colorless gas with vinegar like smell is acetate. Result Finally, one cation and one anion in a given salt is determined.